last quarter we look set for. Footscray by four points. They've led at every change, but haven't led all day. Steins out of the middle has had stats like a ruck rover. The ball towards half forward. Missed there by Griffin. And the ball out of bounds off Andy Lovell. And we'll have a throw in left half forward for the Demons. And Leon Cameron remains on the bench for Footscray. Did not take his place after half time. And Chris Grant playing at centre half back on David Neitz. And Todd Viney was off at the 10 minute mark of the second quarter for the Demons. Little toe poke out of there by West. Steins attacked it hard and finished up with the football. Hilton ridden into the ground. Play on, says the umpire. Sunny conditions, the first time we've had bright sunshine at the football in Melbourne for a long, long time. And it's actually looked as though both teams have trained in the wet and haven't been ready for this because they've kicked appallingly. Centre wing, Wine won it. Uze was caught high around the shoulder. He's a promising young player, Adam Uze. He's on centre wing, a left footer. He brings it to Neitz. Oh, almost took the mark, just knocked his, his hand was punched just after he's about to take the mark. And it'll be a throw in. The ruck duel has been fascinating. Steins and Scott Wine, probably both almost in the boats. Not that I'm giving them, Terry Wheeler will be adjudicating on that. There's Wine, the big fist around centre wing, sea camp. true player he's got ter terrific application he's on his former teammate Richard Osborne so Steins again and wine wine won it with the left hand umpire calling play on Peter Krull goes to ground keeps it in the Liberatore and little Liber puts it out in the full funny game Liber he started like an absolute rocket he's had now just 15 possessions but I reckon in the first 15 minutes he'd had 10 Dyson. Melbourne, six goals, 15. 21 scoring shots to 15, but they're behind by four points. Grant claims the mark, no mark doing. The umpire comes in and will ball it up. He will catch some inaccurate kicking, mainly by the Demons. In the third quarter, they kicked three goals, seven. Glenn Lovett. The pressure in this game has befitted teams seventh and eighth on the ladder, and vital are the four premiership points. Out of bounds it goes. Melbourne's left half forward again. So Leeds is going back to do the ruck work against Chris Grant. As the two ruckmen are on centre wing, playing on each other. Leeds did that well, but he gave it straight to West. Here's the ruckman we were talking about, but too quick for uh, Wine then was Stein. Steins has been absolutely terrific. Nine marks, 25 disposals this will be. Wind, yep. five marks, 11. So, Jimmy Steins towards Leach. Grant, almost a mark, not paid. And uh, umpire will bounce it again. And they were forced to move. Uh, Alan Joyce was forced to move Grant onto Leach because Leach looked like taking over Terry in that third term. Yes, he did. And he, he does it so very well in here, Grant. That's a great free kick. And listen to the locals. They wanted that one. Freeze at 21 to Footscray, 14 to Melbourne. It was 9 to 1 early in favour of Footscray and they were still booing. <laughs> Grant, half back to half forward. Trimke drops a mark. Glenn Lovett for the Demons. With the Andrew Jarman haircut. Walks the ball over the boundary line. And another throw in. So actually, in actual fact, this last quarter hasn't got going yet. There's been no score at all. We've been playing four minutes. I reckon we've had 22 ball ups and 13 boundary throw-ins. Scott Wine, a quick kick. Down the direction of Sexton. Sexton props. Well played, Ben Sexton. Onto the left foot, blazes away. And has kicked the behind to the relief of the Melbourne players and their supporters. Sexton just needed to control that left footer a little bit more. He found enough space and could have steadied. And I think perhaps he just tried to hit it a little bit too hard. Well, he's kicked three out of Footscray's eight. And the uh, goal kick scorers for Melbourne Lions kick two and Sean Smith's kick two. Well, they're the major goal kickers anyway. Hilton shares it with Cowell. And now to Gasper. South Fremantle recruit. Kick down the boundary line. Steins caught behind, but he does the punching in the direction of Uze. Uze applies the tackle on Quill. It spills. Lamperell for Melbourne. 
Obst. Kick by Obst. Just over the wing. Ball's not travelling very far in this quarter. Dyson, you're gone. And the ball held to him. Another baller. Kevin Dyson's been strong right throughout. As he now gives the ball to Dunkai Wesker, who once again throws it up. Steins in front, kicks out of the air to Lyon. Eventually to Lovett. Scott West cleans up with his left hand to the running ground. Through the centre. The hard runs behind. Sexton was the target. Sexton and Lamper went under the ball. Daniel Hargraves judges it the better of the three. And that all started from a fumble in the city. You cannot afford to fumble in this game. Or you... you it's costly. Hargraves has had only three kicks for the day. He started off like a rocket early. He took a couple of quick marks, didn't he, early in the game. So Hargraves already having kicked one goal. Quite deliberately. And it's kicked to second. So Footscray kicked their ninth goal stretch their lead to 11 points. Footscray 9, 8, 62. Melbourne 6, 15, 51. And here's the turnover. West finds Grant, who's done a good run from the half-back line there, and the ball just drifting enough over the top of the contest in front for Daniel Hargraves to take it. Kicking his second goal and his 13th of the season. Fine and sunny conditions at last in Melbourne for the showdown between 7th and 8th. Will Footscray belt away in the last quarter like they did in round 4? West, Rigic can't mark. Good hand pass comes out wide. Jason Watts! Just offline and behind. He's had two shots for goal, but two behinds. Played most of his footy in defence. Footscray with a bit of a break. The momentum with the Bulldogs at the moment. They lead by 12 points. And the kick in. Finds Lamprell. He took the place of uh, Matthew Phoebe in the selected side. Here's Uze. He's beaten to it by Quill. Footscray getting on top here. Quill in towards half for Cal, the big fist away. Here's Glenn Lover, but a holding the man decision against Cal. He can't believe it. He's arguing with the umpire. A free kick to Collinock. The umpire's adjudicated that uh, Darren Cal pulled Stephen Coleman backwards after the contest had been done, so the whole decision was awarded. So Steve Collin up from 55 metres, out to the right, and out in the full. So it'll be a Melbourne kick. The game's not over yet. It's uh, Melbourne have kept coming at Footscray all day. As we see Gasper to the half-back area. Wind is there. Primke is there also. Here's Scott West. To Liberatore. Liber on the left. Hooks it back towards half four to pack develops. It's no mark. Here's Cow. Lynn Lovett. Oh, he got the hand pass into Brett Lovett. Lovett at half back sprints clear. They want a goal, Melbourne. Here's Grant. Thumped away. Back it comes towards Hopgood. He gets in a hand pass. Griffin is there. He races after it on the left foot. He gets it, bends it back in the direction of Nicholson, who we saw getting a needle in his knee at three-quarter time, and he puts it to the line. Yes, and just as well most of the crowd couldn't see the needle going into the knee, otherwise they'd have been carrying most of us out. Oh. Needs number nine, beaten for it by West, the rover. Kicked by West to half forward. Colin Uke, oh, he interfered. Melbourne free kick to Darren Cowell. Scott West has been very good in the opening part of this final quarter. Two centre bounce clearances. He's been able to link up Footscray through the centre. Footscray 63, Melbourne 51. And just under 13 and a half minutes remaining in this game. Melbourne players saying, kick it long. But he doesn't want to. He goes in short and wide. And Glenn Lovett takes the mark. Kick by Lovett in the direction of Steins, and he's got another one, Jim Steins. What a game. Ten marks and coming up for 26 disposals. You don't expect that from a man who came from Ireland and Gaelic football and 
stands about six feet six. He kicked it like a Gaelic footballer, and he's given it straight up to the opposition, Griffin. Well, Neil Baum won't like this, an uncontested mark on the forward line at a vital time. It's just not good enough. Here's Wine. No mark. Has he paid the mark or not? He's paying the advantage. Is he Libera Torre? Centre wing. Cowell versus Collinor. Here's Hopgood. Now Obst. Melbourne still fighting hard. Obst kicks it wide. He's looking for Steins. It's still in play. Glenn Lovett. Glenn Lovett looking for Neitz. Neitz working hard down there. Brett Lovett has dragged off the football. It's a free kick. Brett Lovett is at 50. It was kicked away. This will be 50 metres. Oh, what a final. It was kicked away. I think it was Costa or Smith. I think it was Costa. He kicked the ball away and the umpire had no hesitation in paying the 50. We'll see it here then. Now that free kick has been awarded. The whistle's clearly gone. Kim Costa unfortunately kept going with it. That could Costa the side. <laughs> well, if he kicks his goal, Drew, there'll only be a goal now. Oh, it's been a funny old game, this one. Two very even sides. Brett Lovett, goals. Six points, the Bulldogs lead. They won't lay down the, the Melbourne side. They've continued to come back at all times. And even here, the, the contest just still exists. And that's what's important in the game of football. The, it's never over until the, the final siren goes, so to speak, and all players are giving their all here. This is a very important so game for both sides. Seventh and eighth on the ladder, being threatened somewhat by other clubs coming up from below. A win here is important to both sides. Footscray ahead of Melbourne on the ladder by virtue of their draw against Collingwood, and Melbourne under threat. But they're coming back, the Demons. Dyson couldn't get a clear possession. Steins applying the tackle. Umpire said, there's a free kick in there, and it's a free kick to go to Footscray against Steins to Watts. Kick by Watts to the 50. Hargraves, it clears him. Quill is there, socket away by Uze. Good chase between the two of them. Ball still in for Peter Quill. Uze's got him. And now Osmond takes the ball out of bounds. It's a really good contest. He's got some class that young kid, hasn't he? Sure has. Came from Shepparton and still just 17. One of the youngest players in the competition. Half forward for the Bulldogs. They lead. Oh, Scott Wine in midair. Kicks it, landed right on the white line. <laughs> oh, Maradona, look out. What agility. He's already kicked the goal from a snap earlier in the game from roving a contest. And now he's throwing his legs around again. So Jimmy Stiles, oh, that was clever. On to uh, Steve Phoebe. Brett Lovett. Oh, he's mucking around with the ball. Seacamp Court loses the ball in the tackle. Collinup. Hargraves. Cow. Oh, this is good stuff now. Cow, the centre wing. Adam Uze flies. Oh, it's knocked on beautifully. It's Quill. It was Johnson who knocked it on initially, and then Peter Quill, that with under pressure, puts it out in the full. Under 11 minutes left, 63 Footscray, 57 Melbourne. One straight kick the difference. Dyson has it. Over centre wing. Lion will up the ground. Magnificent mark, Brad Johnson. Holding, holding the lion. Free kick. Well, that was unlucky to Johnson, who did nothing wrong and took the mark. Free kick to Lion. The Melbourne skipper dumps it long. Neitz is there. And a good mark was taken just on the ground by Doyle and forward pocket it's come unstuck Ellen has it Shane Ellen played four games in 93 and playing just his seventh in his career the kick by Ellen Uze didn't get first touch Wine's got him with a good tackle holding the ball three kicks got Wine fair enough too that was a good decision by the umpire on to Johnson Johnson the half forward Osborne's been taken out of the game by Seacamp Grant worked hard, on to Osman, touches it on the ground, does so again, he runs to 60, he ran a long way, well that nearly holding the ball, no, Osman, oh he puts it in, and he puts it in, Osman, great goal, one of the goals of the season to Richard Osman, well it's brought the house down, fantastic play Richard Osman, he took them on, an inspirational goal. He's on the ground, he's up, Grant feeds him and away he goes. One to
middle and the Bulldogs lead by two goals after a magnificent goal by Osborne. They go forward again inside the 50. Collinuk can't take the mark. Melbourne needs three goals to win. Gasper out of defence. Hopgood has been a fine player for the Demons and marks a halfback. Coming oh, up for his 20th possession. Sensational, wasn't it? Well, could be just the one to break the back. I mean, that could be very dis disheartening and demoralising to the Melbourne side the way Osmond took the ball some 70 metres to goal. And he's hardly had a touch all day and it was his first goal for the match. Big Ilya Grigic has come onto the ground. Take it a mark. Centre wing. He kicks to half forward. Steve Phoebe under Hopgood. Hopgood races in. A little chip pass. He's looking for Steins, who looks very tired. No wonder. On to Obst. Obst to Hopgood. This is better by Melbourne. Hopgood ran a long way. Oh, he touched it on the ground. Now he looks for Lovett. He found him, and Melbourne are not dying. They're not going to lie down, Melbourne. He's going to try and run around. He does. Oh, cleverly done, Glenn Lovett. Brings it up in front of goal. And he needs to take a mark. Two bites, three bites. Well done by David Nitz. That's why he's such a good player, because he can rise to the occasion when he's needed. Very damaging uh, marking power down there. Needs, Lyon and Smith. This time, Smith just does enough to keep Shane Allen out of it. Needs a little bit of a height advantage over Brad Nicholson. He's able to complete it. So David Neats from about 15 metres, 45 degree angle. If he kicks it, they'll be down by six points. There's still eight minutes to go. David Neats with the pressure on. He stabs, and I'd say this is a goal. Yet, no, he's missed. Well, the way he sprinted back, I thought the body language said a goal, but I was wrong. Well, Melbourne have missed so many chances. Here they are trailing by 11 points and they've kicked seven goals, 16. They probably should be in front. Certainly should be in front. Johnson towards the outer side. Mammoth distance with that kick with a mark to Sean Smith. Slides the hand pass away to Brett Lovett. Kick by Lovett on the bounce to Steins, I thought. Yes, play on. The umpire, John Harvey, agreed with me and he's going to ball it up about 45 metres from goal. Yes. It's good umpire. Good call by the umpire. Very astute. A lot of players around this. The umpire throws it up. Here's Glenn Lovett with the Andrew Jarman head. And it's taken over the line here by Nicholson for a throw in about 10 metres around from the behind post. So, a goal here to Melbourne and make it interesting. As we see Steins. Oh, he's got it, Jimmy Steins. Left foot was touched off the boot. Here's Nicholson going to the line and just bounces it inside before it rolls over. But Melbourne have been like a little doggy snapping at the heels all day, haven't they, Terry? Yeah, just unable to really nail it home when they've had the opportunities. 7-16 uh, really argues against them being able to win the game. Wyatt wins this one, but straight back into a pack. Footscray led by 11 points at quarter time. Lost the lead in the second quarter, but led by 14 points at half time and by four points at the last change. And at the moment, the margin is 11 points. So it's been that sort of a game. About two kicks has been the margin, the biggest margin all day. Needs tried a big one there, but missed it. Just out of bounds again. So it's not very pretty, but the stakes are very high. If Melbourne lose this, which would be their second loss in a row, they're going to let the opposition on the ladder from behind in with a chance. So half forward flank, almost forward pocket, or Neats flew over the back. Bad play. I think he's given away a free kick here to Wine in the back. And uh, Neats is saying to the umpire, well, I jump with my knee. I think he might have got a little bit of hands in the back as well. Wine on to Smith. Smith touching it on the ground. He's going to try and drive it out of the danger zone. A one on one contest. Uze. He is a class player. He read that beautifully. On to Seacamp. Seacamp. Oh, there's no one there for Melbourne at half forward. And Smith comes across to take the mark. The forward lines let them down today. Well, David Schwartz would make a big difference to this side. Here's Sean Smith, who was a goal kicking option for the Demons, but he's a long way up the ground near the wing. Grigic gets lovely. Osmond's got it. This is goal kicking territory for Osmond.
Ozzie. He goes the short pass to centre wing. It's overrun by Costa. And now out of bounds off Feeney for throwing. Well, Sean Smith so far up the ground. And Gary Lyons about 60 metres from goal. You wonder where a Melbourne goal will come from. They need a couple to win the game. Here's Seacamp. Oh, nearly holding the ball in. He was tackled and put that ball on the ground. I don't think he got a handball in. He was a bit lucky, Marcus Seacamp, but he stuck to his task pretty well on Osborne. And Osborne kicked the goal of the game about five minutes ago, a ripper. So the ball will be thrown in on centre wing. With the margin, 11 points. They need a quick goal because we're getting close to the five minute to go, Mark. Riggins. Oh, good kick off the ground. Hollywood. If Foots going to get the next one, it'll be difficult for Melbourne. Here's the kick. Sexton in front. Over the back is Jason Watts. On the left boot. He fires in a goal. Hopgood races back. And it's through for a behind, but a handy one, because now the margin's 12 points. Jason Watts has done so very well since coming on after half-time into the forward pocket. He's given them a great degree of versatility, a good mark overhead, but also exceptional skills at ground level. That's Watts in less than half a game. Three marks, six kicks, but he hasn't managed a goal yet. 12 points the difference as Cowell kicks in, with five minutes left on the clock at the Western Oval. There's Watts again. Hopwood's been good for the Demons, but his kick is out of bounds on the fourth. Steve Colonu to take the free. Kick and a half to goal from there. Keeps it low, only for Steve Phoebe, and marks on his chest and plays on. Time running out for the Demons, they could still pinch it. Lyon, might have been ridden in the back. No free kick against Grant. Grant might finish up with it. West gives it over the top to Grant, who did well to tackle Lyon and follow up, go forward. Chris Grant on centre wing. Four and a half minutes of play left. Melbourne need two goals to uh, level the scores. Oh, this is good play to Griggich. They created the loose man. Griggich gets on with it quickly. And he's found Sexton. Sexton will have to kick from 55 metres. So the distance, a bit of a doubt, I would think. He's slowing it down. I think he's been watching Paul Salmon. He's been very good today, Ben Sexton. Uh, He's only played two senior games out of the last 15, but has now kicked three goals here and a very good display of forward line work. Well, he's kicked three and he's lining up for his fourth. The distance probably a slight doubt. Well, he's given it a decent old roost. He'll land up in the square. That might be a goal. It is now. I think it's a goal to Sexton. Yes! A huge kick by Ben Sexton. So that's the match winner. Oh, without doubt, well, that's the nail in the coffin. Huh? The previous goal from Richard Osborne was the match winner for mine. Ben Sexton has done a very good job today. Uh, came in to replace Danny Southern, but not using the fence, but placing the forward line all day, and has now returned four goals. One in the first, two in the second, and now one in the fourth. Well, Footscray heading for their sixth victory in seven matches. What a comeback after their slump when they lost six in a row at one stage. Lyon gets the hand pass out. Steins, umpire Harvey pays a free kick to Footscray and it's to be taken by Nigel Kelly. Three and a half minutes to go and it's a three goal lead to the Bulldogs. Just about a repeat of their match in round four when it was nip and tuck at the last change and Footscray went away in the last quarter to win by 24 points then. Might be exactly the same today if they get one more. Here's a high tackle and a Melbourne free kick to be taken by Seacam. He comes out wide. Costa still going very hard at it. It comes to Cal. Darren Cal improves his position with a bounce. Long kick to half forward. Smith is there. Juggles. Can't mark. The ball underfoot. And that's good enough for Footscray. I thought Smith might go for one of his flying leaps again then, but he laid it down. So the ball almost on half forward for Melbourne. Time running out. They trail by 18 points. And here's Rowan Smith bombing it long. That's a beautiful kick to the half forward line. Krimke. 
He's got on top of Young Hargraves. He's done all right, Paul Primke. An ordinary kick, though, to see camp. Oh, a fumble. It allows Wine in. Wine brings it back in, and the umpire will bounce it. Good play, Scotty Wine. It's been an incredible duel between Wine and Stein right, right throughout the day. The, the two big tyrants of ruck work. Stein's the more mobile, but Wine the strength. It goes Footscray's way. A chance here for Johnson. Osborne steadies. 40 metres out. Offline this time, Aussie. Up behind. He kicked the impossible one and missed that one. Osborne one goal, two for the day. And I was just thinking a while ago, if the US scouts had seen him kick that previous goal, that have snapped him up and paid him millions. So Melbourne, they've battled hard, they've been valiant. As you see Gasper bring it back into the half-back line. West, no mark to level, the umpire will call play on, and he does. And now he'll come in and bounce it. Number one, umpire David Howland, very experienced. And is he paying a free kick now? Something must have happened on the ground here. Yeah, uh, a bit of body work. Johnson popped one from uh, Glenn Lovett, round the neck. So initially he was going to bounce it, and now it's a free kick to Footscray to rub a bit of salt in the wounds. Brad Johnson can see a lead. Rowan Smith! Oh, what's he doing down there? He's going down to say, well, I'm a defender, I'm going to have a shot for goal. And he's going to tie up the laces as well. It's not un un foreign territory to uh, Rowan Smith having a shot at goal. Started the year on the half forward flank and in rounds two and three, kicked two goals in each of those. Now playing at halfback. What a player he's been at halfback. He's been able to generate a lot of run. His work today with Kim Costa and Nigel Kellett certainly has been a springboard of many of Footscray's attacks. One of the quickest players in the competition, Rowan Smith, will kick from 30 metres, slight angle really rub salt into the wounds of the demons as he lays back on this kick and I think he's missed it to the right he has but Footscray safe it's been a pretty even game though a good hard fought contest Fancy Melbourne defeated Footscray last year in the first semi-final by 79 points and Gary Lyon kicked 10 goals in three quarters and now Footscray have beaten them twice this year Phoebe. Steins is there for another mark. His stats are incredible. 11 marks, and he's coming up for 29 possessions. Andy Lovell. In the last minute, just inside the line is Hopgood. Might call it the Paul Hopgood week. Had plenty of it out there today. Lyon flew over the pack. Neats. Back he goes with the hand pass to Dyson. Chance here for Lyon, 65 metres out, little toe poke, and Obst has it, still too far out to score, they're fooling with the ball, Dyson, he dropped it, Footscray have got it, might kick the last goal of the game, here goes Rowan Smith, up to half forward, Hargraves, bounces off him, Primke gives it to Seacamp, Marcus Seacamp, Sprints clear. He's battled hard all day against Osmond. Peter Quill races across to take the mark. Libertore on the left. Chips it in short towards the half forward line. Colonel appealing for the free kick. There's the siren. A good hard fought tough contest. And the Bulldogs have come out winners at the Western Oval. 11 12 78. They have defeated Melbourne 7 16 58.